And this is the vicious fighting that the and people... And malnutrition, particularly... The... Al-Shabaab remain a threat. Uh, yeah, is that it? Welcome to Mogadishu Cribs. Yo, what's up? This is how I'm living these days. This is called the Mudul. Starting out, I did not have a mission, and I just wanted to make my friends laugh. Ha! How's this so the guy I shouldn't have gone this early to yoga? What did I say? And I had the chain and finch band sword off. We are in Islam. Um, can you check it out if you are here? Link up. Now, my mission might be just showing that Muqtisho is just as normal as anywhere else in the world. I think a lot of people fret over coming to certain African countries that have experienced war. <laughs> <laughs> it was astonishing. It was like walking in the mall and seeing your reflection in a slice of mirror. We know that we come from an oral tradition. We recognize ourselves as pioneers in um, poetry, in Africa especially. No, I don't, I don't feel privileged. At all. A lot of us who came back to Somalia are here because we want to be here, not because we live lavishly. I'm actually putting myself at risk every time I leave the house, knowing that there's a sniper on somebody's roof, a suicide car can zoom past me, but I'm, I'm here to make that change. The biggest issue is that people will tell you you can't do certain things because you're a woman and it should be your utmost pleasure to prove them otherwise. A lot of people tell me that you can't do X, Y, and Z because you're married. Uh, yes, I'm married, I'm not crippled. When I go out, I try to look for beauty within the ruins, really. For me to sell Somalia in 15 seconds is uh, impossible, but I will tell you that massive change is happening in Somalia and you want to be a part of it.